Hi guys, welcome to the system. This is Plasma and um, we're going to make a tutorial about Okui. Okui is still on my agenda to do. So, you know we have different kind of uh, websites. AdminxD.com covers actually all of them in the sense that XFC, Openbox, i3, all the articles are here. Phase 3, all the articles are here. And uh, what we want to have, or have a little bit more, at least one more, right, is just take a look at Okui. Now, it says here Agnux D, right? But we have two things. We have a B where you build it yourself. So there are different options, four options to install a desktop. And this is, of course, one of the greatest, most awesome things we have. That's the Control Alt E, where after five seconds, I just timed it a few seconds ago, have I3 installed on any machine or any of the others. So that's a great tool to install a, a desktop somewhere, wherever, on Arch Linux, on Arch Linux, B, the D, the flagship, whatever, as long as Arch, then you can um, install it. So what we're going to do now is boot up, of course, Super F7 VirtualBox. And I have here already something from probably at some time ago. So it will be also a update video as well which is of course on any operating system important, Mac, iOS, Android, it doesn't matter. We need to update and yes, updating gives us sometimes issues. That's the thing about updates, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the welcome app, looks a little bit strange for us, but it's another desktop. So this guy follows the coloring of uh, this particular desktop, which is not our icons either. So we kept it really um, the way it's supposed to look from Okui. Now, Ctrl T, let's update our system. Let's first see when was the last time I ever booted this thing up. That was November the 15th. So, this is the day today. I'll guess we'll have some updates. So, yeah. Lots of things. I always tend to go inside um, a terminal and update there because it gives you the ability and, and the, the visual um, well effect of Pac-Man, <laughs> the little C there, but also the names. Gradually you're starting to learn the names and the importance of files like this big guy. It takes a while before it's there. It's the Linux kernel. It's your system between the hardware and and the rest of your software so the motherboard and all that hardware and then linux finds out hey you have an intel you have an amd and so on and so on it discovers your hardware and um, sets it right another package to help him is the linux firmware so these guys get updated which means i'm gonna sudo reboot right later on and then i'll have an up-to-date system then the Linux kernel 5.9.14 will kick in, not before. Now, <clears throat> if you're on Plasma, let me put this in this video as well, and sometimes even XFC depends, um, you'll see these strange messages, Dolphin is not able to open, that's the, the file manager from Plasma, or Tunar gives a strange message. The only thing is, guys, reboot. That's all you need to do to um, if these huge um, updates come in, that's the reflex you should have. Say, so, okay, that's a bunch of updates. I'll better reboot. That's all. And then Linux is just great. In the meantime, while this thing is doing its job, so we have some icons down here. All right, Control Alt T. Let's open another one and see these days we have some issues with reflector right and just let's just talk about um, where is it getting these packages it's done now right all the packages are downloaded and they are in your folder the cache folder is going to check the key ring integrity and once you pass this hurdle no file conflicts boom then it's off, off and it installs everything 
What I wanted to show you is the following, and mirror list. Where are these packages coming from? For me, it's coming today for mail tunnel. If you say this was not fast enough, there is a faster one, and I see it already. What I like to do is get the packages from mirrorosbeck.com. I even like it that much that I've made a script for it. Article X Osbeck as mirror, which is basically going to say write the server Osbeck as mirror inside my mirror list. That's it. Doesn't show you anything more than that. This is it. That's the result. Because I ran the script, this guy is going to get my packages in. So all the packages are coming just from one server. If it's down, I won't get anything you get a lot of errors and then you remember ah uh, yeah true so mirror these days well let's just type alias mirror is using reflector reflector has a certain well q is enough has a certain version if the version of reflector is not the way you like it you can always downgrade but let's try it out and see what it provides us in the meantime I'm gonna show you how to downgrade reflector so suppose you get a lot of errors or you think oh my god this is so strange or so 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 slow or whatever you can always go back to a version and on my current system I believe I'm a version 2020.9 so number 11 yes enter ignore yes add it please to uh, my ignore package which means it's going to an etc slash etc slash pacman.conf I'm adding the line ignore updates for reflector so this is the mirror with the new from the new version and this is the mirror from the old version so it's all about choices um, but this is faster Right? It's done already. So it's entirely up to you what you use and change. You see that Osbeck is no longer there. Mail tunnel seems to win. But then again, we've used 3030. If we do Ctrl Alt W, there's another way to update Arch Linux mirrors. And that is not using 3030 as parameters because this is really very, very personal. So please guys, make your own alias. And there are lots of aliases, right? You can just, just um, do a nano and then, okay, dot bash RC, for example. Go down there, there are four of them, these guys. Why don't you make another alias? Mirror A or mirror F or something like that. And then change the lines behind it. Now the tip is do not change it in bash rc. Go and create yourself a bash rc personal because it's going to be added after reading the bash rc. So here is where you put your own personal stuff in. So if reflector uh, is important to you, make your own reflector script. That's that. In the meantime, right, everything is up to date. So I'm gonna reboot. I'm so used to type SR. Right, reboot. <laughs> Look at that, nice, right? Okay, reboot. And then finally, we can get on with our um, tutorial, basically, about the GUI. I'm gonna cut the video here so we'll add this as the update video and continue with the actual GUI.